Well, hello and welcome to Physics Games. Today we're talking about teleporting. And I am joined with Physics Games. Well, this is Physics Games. I am at Physics. This is my alter ego, or my other account, really. And we're going to uh, work together, aren't we? Hello? Hello? No, he doesn't say much. But we're going to work together in order to show you how these commands work, because they are slightly weird in the way they've named them. And also, you know, it's just about getting it right. I can never remember myself. So whilst I do remember, I am going to show you, and I will have this video archive forever, to help me when I need to do this. So we need to be in debug mode. And in order to do that, you can have a look at the card above. But you need to press F1. And when you press F1, we simply type debug mode. Or we just simply type DM and that will switch it on. At the moment, I've typed it in again after already typing it, so it turned it off. There we go. Now I'll type it again and we're in. Debug mode on. We now have the ability to go into God mode. We can fly about and do crazy stuff. Uh, but the important thing is, is I want to be able to teleport to and from other players that may be on my server or on my game. So how do we do this? Well, the weirdness comes from the fact that there are two commands for everything. And often we use the shorter versions of them. But there is one called teleport and there is one called teleport player. Now, you would think that teleport player would have some kind of interesting shortened version. Well, it does. And that is telly. Whereas Teleport, that has the shortened version of TP. So TP is not Teleport Player. TP is Teleport. And Teleport Player is shortened to Telly. I don't know. I just find that a little bit confusing. But anyway, we'll use the long versions today just to get us going. What do we want to do? Well, if I write Teleport and I want to teleport somewhere, if I teleport to Physics, now Physics is me, Physics Games is the character in front. When I hit enter, well, I teleport to myself, so I'm not going anywhere. So I need to be able to put teleport and then the name of the person that I want to go to, Physics Games in this case, and we will see I will teleport over to them. And there they are. Hello, how are you doing? Okay, now what if I want to get them to come to me? Well, in that case, I need to use the teleport player function. Again, F1. And when I'm in there, I can type in teleport player, or I could type in telly. And then I need to put in physics. Let's try that. And then physics games, the other player in front of us. And what happens here? Well, I was written first, so I teleport to them so if you want to get somebody to come to you let's say you're starting a game and you want to do that all at the same position this is how you do it let's try that again we want to teleport player and we're going to take physics games and we are going to teleport them to me and i'm called physics so over they come hello well done very very good so we could all be in the same place and we can all start our first quests and all work together and it's quite enjoyable when you do this we'll try that one more time with the shortened version so if i type in telly that's short for teleport player and then i type physics games and then myself physics that is allowing the person to come to me and here they are they have moved over here now, there's other ways we can use these. Maybe there's a specific X, Y, Z coordinate that I want to go to and I've written down. If you ever want these things and you're in debug mode, you just press F3. And you'll be able to see on the left-hand side, as long as I have this thing clicked here, which is PLY for player, then at the top we can see our X, Y, and Z coordinates. Now, you can type these down and basically... You don't want to use the decimal places. The decimal places, it won't accept. So you're going to be able to only teleport to as near as a whole number. And also, if you can see in this position, to be on top of this car, I need to teleport to 56.6. Always go to the number just above, because that will spawn you just that little bit above, and then you'll fall onto the car. So if I go into a debug mode, I'll press F3 to remove that, escape to remove my menu, F1 to get in there, and then I'll bring this up. So I've typed in a teleport, and then minus 1,903, 57, just above 56.6, 468. And when I hit enter, well, I appear just on the car here. If I move away, we can see that 
hopefully a little bit more spectacularly and there we are i've completely moved myself to the position that i wanted so that's the other thing that i want to do the easiest way is though is to move a player now if we take good old physics games that's over there and let's say they had a name, it was someone on a server, and their name was just too much hassle to actually type in. Well, there is a way of moving them using their player ID. So again, we press F1, and we type in LPI. And LPI is going to give us all the information for the players. So here we have ID 171 for physics games, that's who's in front of us and the ID 175 for physics, that's me. So I can do exactly the same things as we did before, but use these numbers. So let's try that. Last time I moved good old physics games to me, just like we did there. But if we change it to the numbers instead, then what we can get is telly physics games, who's 171 to me, and I'm 175. And when I hit the button, they fly over to me. So it's fairly straightforward. It's just remembering those commands. And if you ever do need to remember, just pop over to Physics Games and you can find out in this video. I hope that was interesting for you today and it could be helpful to somebody out there. Please hit like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you later. Goodbye!